All right, you already saw the title, boys. This is the fastest and most effective way to actually farm your character's EXP, your unit's EXP, and to get an average amount of gems. Basically, like AFKing overnight, but you get EXP on top of it. It's actually really good. I've been experimenting with this for a couple of days now, trying to go through which maps are actually effective, and I think I found it. I don't know if anybody else went through this, but if they did, they probably found the same thing as me. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and start with a little bit of requirements. So here are some requirements and optional. So the first thing that you really need is the app. So the app they're gonna use is Tiny Test. As you, as you can see, it's right here. This little thing right here. I've gone through this so many times because this is one of the most effective and useful apps you could actually get for Roblox games. Since it records your keyboard movements, including your mouse, you could actually go ahead and start recording your AFK grinding session. I'll leave the app download in the description. And I swear it's not a virus. Every Everybody basically uses this unless you're using hacks. But yeah, the other thing is to have decent Wi-Fi uh, because, you know, you don't want to mess up loading inside a game or killing enemies by having horrible Wi-Fi. If you have horrible Wi-Fi, then you might have to take extra precautions. But if you have decent Wi-Fi, you should be able to go through this pretty quickly and easily without any issues. And optional, what I like to do have is have a windowed Roblox screen so I can exit really quickly. Or you could just go ahead and do Alt F4, which basically, you know, kicks you out the game instantly. Besides that, I'm gonna go ahead and go into some factors that might alter your macroing so you just want to keep this in mind and then i'll start getting into you know actually macroing the whole farm and in the end i'll go through all like the statistics and all that what exp you get how much loot you get how much gems you get etc so let me quickly go ahead and move on Okay, so here are the notes that you want to keep in mind. So the first one is that Wi-Fi changes the speed of farm. Basically, every single time you join the game, there's like a loading time which depends on your Wi-Fi and speed for the game to actually load. So the faster it is, the better. So if it's slower, it might mess up your macro every single time because it might be random with the amount of times you load in. But if you're consistent, this should be really, really good to do overnight. Either way, I will do some precautions so everybody can do it. The other thing is that unit level, rarity, and trait does change the speed of the farm. You know, uh, you know, if you use like rare characters or epic characters, don't those won't really be the best. I recommend using Dio, Bulma, or Speedwagon, Broly, Levi, basically any unit that you could place down fairly easily and quickly that do a decent amount of damage. Also, the level and trait do factor into the fact that the unit might perform better. So definitely have decent levels on it or a good trait. Second to last, you also might want to have slow movements when macroing, basically using your mouse pretty slowly because if you do pretty quickly sometimes it doesn't click sometimes it doesn't work so it might cause errors and then finally have marine fort unlock all right moving on for that let's actually get into the actual macro okay so i actually had this pre-recorded this is me macroing i've already recorded the actual macro but this is what i basically did so the first thing that you want to do is have your private server on your uh, browser you know google and then once you have that start recording and click join once you do that just put it in the middle and don't do anything until the game loads once the game does load you want to go ahead and wait around 50 15 to 20 seconds to actually make sure that you're in the game so once you're inside the game go ahead and move to the left and then if you're a little too close go up twice and then you should be able to go through the door pretty easily after that go ahead and aim for the first door which is uh you know doing a w moving diagonally towards the door right here and then once you're in just make sure just in case you're laggy move left and right because sometimes it doesn't want to put you inside the you know the actual dungeon and then once you do that go ahead and click marine forward go to act one battleship just be because I'm pretty sure it gives the same amount of EXP for each act on Marine Ford, which is 50, and the same amount of fruits as well. So go ahead and click Act 1 Battleship, click Select, and click Start. Once you do that, don't do anything. Just wait until you're inside the game once again. Now, when you're in the game, wait for the title screen to actually pop up, and then wait around 10 to 15 seconds or 20 seconds if you have horrible Wi-Fi. So actually, make sure you're inside the game first, and then once you do, go ahead and click Yes and start the vote. This will commence the units to start start actually walking through and get your Dio in place where I'm clicking right here. And the good thing about Marine Ford is the fact that you always face the same direction. I was checking this out with every other map and sometimes you don't even face the same directions and it might move it around and they might have horrible positioning but Marine Ford, they have the best positioning to actually get the fastest time. As you can see, I can place my Dio right here and then once time skips, I can go in and place them down and it kills the Marines exactly when they just pass. There we go. They should be able to kill them instantly and now you could go ahead and 
start placing your units. And once you pass the first three to four waves, I recommend placing all your units near the front. As you can see, I'm placing it near like the very start so we could kill them instantly, which makes the waves go by faster, which allows you to go through these quicker and give you more EXP, fruits, gems, etc. And something that I actually do here is use Bulma. Some people don't even use Bulma because, you know, it's annoying to upgrade. But if you use Bulma, it actually increases your time by around 20 seconds because you get more upgrades on your units, which do more damage. A little skip forwards, I start upgrading my Bulma and place all my deals at the front. As you can already tell, I did sell my deal in the back and then place them back into the front just because I want the extra damage. And then once you have enough money, you wanna upgrade deal three times where it's right behind the road roller upgrade because this actually decreases his SPA to 3.4 seconds. And if you upgrade all three of them to the 3.4 seconds SPA, you should be able to kill units fairly quickly and they should be able to handle this for around 10, 11 waves. And that allows you to upgrade your Bulma in that time span and right here i start placing down my levi's just because they are evolved and max level so they do a ton of damage you want to get as much damaging characters as you can on the field and since my levi did around like 4,000, 5,000 on its like uh, ability upgrade it was really good especially with that crit so once i did that i went ahead and started basically clicking on the upgrades until i kept getting it to its ability and then fast forward i got more levi's onto there since my levi since my bulma was already maxed which gave me 10k per wave at this point, I'd be able to upgrade all my Levi's and units fairly to the max level, but I started using more units because it would do more attacks plus stack more damage onto it. Because if I just did one unit, that would do around 6k every 4 seconds, but if I did 3 units with the same amount of cash, that did around like 12k every 4 seconds, so that's really, really good. Around this time, I recommend just auto-clicking or placing down your best units to get as high damage as you can, but near the end, you could also place a Erwin that surrounds all of these units right here near in the middle and then upgrade it to a damage buff form and then once you do that greatly increases your time as well but honestly i just went ahead and max leveled my levi because why not and place some brolies down as you can see the marine battleship is dying really quickly at that point go ahead and wait around 10 to 15 seconds when once the wave is actually complete to make sure that you're on this screen right here as you can see six minutes and 22 seconds for 50 exp and 20 gems that's really good also your units also get you know levels as soon as you finish as you can see right here my bone will leveled up once from that that's really good and then once you wait that 15 to 20 seconds you could go ahead and click next and then wait another 15 to 20 seconds to click return or you could just all f4 at this point now like i said if you have good wi-fi you don't have to wait 15 to 20 seconds you could probably wait like 10 seconds at most but once you do that go ahead and return to lobby if you don't all f4 and then wait around five seconds click the x and then go back to where you placed your mouse at the start. As you can see, I'm doing it right here and boom. End the macro there and you should be able to do that overnight. And that's it, that's the whole macro. In total, that took me around eight minutes for the actual entire thing. So now let's get into the statistics you could get after overnighting with this tactic. All right, so the first thing that I gotta say before I start this is the fact that these stats only apply to me currently because we might not have the same units, might not have the same levels, might not have the same traits, etc. It might take you longer, it might, might take me longer. So stats are very different. But for me, this is what I got. So for every single eight minutes, I completed one game and since there's uh you know 60 minutes in one hour one hour divided by eight minutes i could complete seven minutes or seven games my bad every single hour now the character exp gain per hour is 50 exp which is per game times the seven games that is around 350 exp for your character per hour that's that's nearly a level for the gems games that's 20 per game times the seven which is 147 gems per hour not as much as afk with vip i don't know about normally but i know it's a little bit less than afk with vip so if you want to just get gems go ahead and afk but if you want gems exp and fruits this is the best way speaking of fruits the amount of fruits and unit exp gained in this macro is around two to four fruits each game for seven games which is 14 to 28 fruits per hour or 7700 through 15400 unit exp per hour since you know each fruit gives 550 unit exp and then finally i don't know if this is for each unit or it's like different but I got around a thousand EXP for my Bulma. So if we do the calculations.
means maybe you sleep overnight around eight hours let's go ahead and do all right so this is the total stat you could get overnight with my current you know characters and time so that's an amazing amount that is crazy but yeah definitely use this to your advantage i don't know if they're gonna patch it with like changing the camera angles and all that but if it's still working definitely do this it's gonna be so useful so useful later in game yeah hope you guys enjoyed good luck Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Welcome. If you guys already haven't, you should definitely like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell if you're new or if you want to help the channel grow. I've already said that a million times, but definitely do it. Anyways, there's these two videos right here that you might like to watch. Go check them out if you want to, but if not, you know, have a damn good day or night. Peace.